What's going on? Yeah, of course, you know, got to keep speaking on this whole political theater and uh, what's going on out here. Uh, but it's like, uh, basically, it's like, look, dude, it's not like I support the Russians or I'm uh, pro-communism. No, F all that shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but it's like uh, freaking the way uh seems that Putin been handling things is actually shows a lot of logic and deliberateness and much better articulated. Like, uh, you know, America's sanctioning Russian, Russia. So you're, you're sanctioning all the poor motherfuckers in Russia who didn't do nothing to you. Because of Putin. But when Putin says he 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 deliberately spoke out and said, I want to sanction. And he spoke out a bunch of political leaders, the people that he feels that's responsible for what's going on. And, and basically, it's the all caps corporation of America. And hey, tell you the truth, I want to break up with these motherfuckers too. You know what I'm saying? They can all freaking take a flying F off a freaking cliff for all I care you know what I'm saying these people are assholes they're corrupt and I want to break up they're not making decisions for me they didn't ask me to they didn't ask me to chime in you can't say oh well you just go ahead and vote I don't that ain't shit that ain't no real control we're the real government you know what I'm saying and we make our own decisions independent parallel society shit on these people uh also the way that uh freaking uh uh he freaking outlawed fake news in his country i mean that's probably bs that probably means in, in double speak political speak that means the real news they're gonna call the fake news and basically in that it sounds good but it could just be a propaganda twist a flip-flop where it means the exact opposite. That's witch language. Where they say one thing. But they mean another. They say peace, peace. But have war in their hearts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but. You know. Once again. I'm not. I'm not a fucking collaborator. I don't. I, I don't have nothing. For these people. I mean. In other. What the, the freaking media says. There's nothing really to go on. Uh, I don't know. I don't live over there. I can't say. I'm not boots on the ground. I don't know anybody. I mean, I'm not seeking to necessarily know anybody. I'm just a casual freaking observer out here. Don't really have a dog in a dog in a fight necessarily. I mean, uh, the whole fucking corrupt political world system can go to freaking H E double hockey sticks for all I care. But you still have to observe these things and see what's going on. It's like the Bible says, "Give credit unto whom's credits due." So when somebody's effing up, that's a bad example. We'll give them credit for that. When somebody's doing good, we'll give them credit for that. We'll give people their credit. But also, on, an, on another freaking kind of tip, you got, you see, you got China who may actually go and support the Russian efforts to create their own freaking new currency situation, uh, independent of. Uh, all the U.S. is, uh, you know, B.S. De democratic foreign policy. I mean, uh, the, the Americans meddle in everyone's fucking affairs. Well, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, I mean, it, it's such a fucking, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, but, see, China's in the position right now to fund both sides of the war. Because in actuality, listen, I don't owe China freaking all this money. Not going to, look, I never asked them to borrow it. I never signed no paper. You can't say we owe on behalf of our corrupt leaders. No, they owe you. You know what I'm saying? You go after the corporation of America. You know what I'm saying? Us regular folk, we ain't got nothing to do with none of this, man. Stop trying to pass the book to us, man, when it's like, look, y'all did it. Y'all, Y'all have all the political moving and shaking power 
us regular people out here, we, there's a, we're limited. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and really, yeah, that's like if someone took a fucking credit card out in your name, maxed it out, and then handed it back to you and said, now nah, you got to pay. That's what you think. You think, uh, what, what freaking, where, where do you find these idiots that are freaking complacent and enable this sort of corruption and fraud? You know what I'm saying? And how in the hell did you make people so dumb that they can't freaking tell what's going on? But look, during the French Revolution, the Jewish bankers freaking loaned to each side of the war. And these guys are loyal to no king or country. They're, mo they're true multinationals. They just move from place to place. So they get to collect all the loot, but they don't really stand to lose anything because either side, they'll just move to a new spot. You know what I'm saying? And see the difference between when you're a country doing it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, look, you can't, it's not so easy just to disappear off into the night. Like uh, these real gypsies, these gypsy bankers really do. And America did the same thing in World War II, man. You can look it up, man. Freaking George Bush, their grandfather, gave money to fucking Germany. And at the same time, they're over here freaking getting money from the taxes and whatnot. From industry, from from uh you know scamming from mafia tribute they created an army here as they fucking funded because look they wouldn't have had no war they had to sell the war man it's wag the dog man i mean listen war is a racket man it makes a lot of money for people and look and some people they only exist for power man their life is that game risk you only live once you got to do everything you can you got to attain power and take it by force and Keep it by the iron fist. You know what I'm saying? Freaking, uh. So. I mean, look, dude. It's, uh, so, look. That's the pot calling the kettle black. And it's just like all China's doing. They're trying to be us. But. At the, they're, they're, but instead, they're communistic, exploiting crony capitalism. Uh, this, and they're also, you know. This really ain't a de democratic society. This is what you call a plutocracy. It means it's run by the same circles of people. It's basically it's damn near kingship and queenship royalty without without uh, admitting it. You know what I'm saying? But and you know it's like yeah, dude. That's that's what's going on with that shit. But. It's also, like, uh, I've been seeing, there's all kinds of old footage, man, coming out of freaking them, like, it's a straight up movie set. It's like, it's like a whole nation doing a Sandy Hook ritual. You know what I'm saying? Or the Austin Ami for, for freaking, uh, and these other, like, theaters, like, straight up, it was street theater, dude. And uh, they call it false flaggery. But... Basically, you know, it's like you got supposedly Hunter Biden and Obama was in Ukraine and they have weapons companies, biological freaking weapon companies over there. Because look, dude, America signed some treaty where they couldn't do biological weapon. So look, they have to let these other countries do it that aren't signed into the Nuremberg, man. So they proxy and subcontract other governments to deal with all that shit and then at any time that's kind of like when a police sells you a pound of weed he knows you got it and when you drive off all of a sudden you get swarmed by a bunch of fucking cops and they know exactly what's in your trunk because fucking they're the ones that sold it to you that's what they do with these type of operations the same type of shit already happened before in the gulf war you know what i'm saying and it's like like what was gulf war syndrome well it was biological it was from the defense department, dude. Biological, they couldn't make the biological offense department, so they made the defense department, but they figured out how to sneak in pathogens into the vaccination program. You know what I'm saying? 
So I, I'd have bet you it's those experimental fucking vaccines that they had because they knew what weapons they were fucking going, looking after because, look, we made them and we gave them to them. So the, you got the same kind of shit going on, man, where there's they're double dipping, there's a dirty backdoor deal that they're not telling the regular average joke. I mean, uh, the, uh, the intelligence agencies of these world groups, they know about it. But look, good luck of getting that into the CIA mocking Operation Mockingbird Media that's owned all by the same six corporations. And it's like like literally they are I mean they're they're, they're it, it really is. It's like it's movie theatrics, man. Freaking and it's it's just a bunch of BS and a bunch of convenient excuses. And uh you know what I'm saying? It's hard to take any of this shit. Uh, super serious that they say but the effects that you're seeing on the economy and on people's psyche on their morale like people are starting to get really depressed like really um pessimistic and uh fatalistic and shit you know what i mean and it's it's really it's captivating people's thoughts like they're ready to get handed a machine gun and kicked out of a fucking plane with a parachute you know what i'm saying and it's all over. You don't even got all the details, all the facts. You know what I'm saying? It's like it, any person, you got to do your own investigation into a matter. It's just like when you're judging between two parties to see who's who's guilty and who's the aggressor or whatnot. Or both parties just effed. You know what I'm saying? It's like, look, you got to, you got to, I can think for myself, use my critical thinking. You know what I'm saying? I could use my logic and, and my knowledge of history and freaking all this access to lots of information you know what i mean and and knowing that this is this is a repeat this is a cycle a pattern of of engineered chaos crisis destruction rebirth it's the whole uh, phoenix from the ashes that's from their great resets their hundred year war which doesn't it's not a war that happens every hundred years but it's around every hundred years they do this to cull the population and to reset the power structures for power grabs and then you get rid of all the men and then they come in and rape and pillage the women and take them as basically like sex slaves um you know what i mean so it is it's a way for rich people to acquire more power and put more like like coochie inside their harem i mean really it's life is cheap here and it really does boil down to a stupid shizzle like that uh, you know, my grandma used to tell me this. Uh, most of the time, most wars are started over some kind of pussy. And if you do look, there are fucking many, many, many examples where there was either some meddlesome woman or like some entitled fucking Bloody Mary types. You know what I'm saying? That cause a lot of, wreak a lot of chaos and destruction. Like, you do. Do you think... Oh, if we just had a woman ruler, how everybody would be so much nicer. What the fuck? Are you crazy? Have you ever seen a bitch lose her shit and start cutting, start running people over, start destroying life? Like, listen, they'll use their own kids as ammunition and pawns in their wars. I mean, it's ridiculous. No, dude, that's a, that's, that's a person who doesn't fucking see reality for what it is. You know what I'm saying? We don't need more emotionalism. No, we need more intellect, more logic, more experience, more manly, masculine uh, maneuvers these days. You know, stop being so gyno fucking centric. Like, you know what I'm saying? Waiting for permission from these broads. You know what I'm saying? Or whoever, because it's like these people, you know, state want to act like your daddy or your mommy and shit. Parentified flying monkey agent tours. F you, buddy. I never asked you to be my bitch. You know what I'm saying? So look, get the fuck out of my bed. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> so that's kind of how that works. And, you know, I want to break up with all these fucking people and their bullshit. But look, unfortunately right now, I have no choice but to pay attention. So fucking be strung along by their fucking their future faking and their, their shit tests and their duping delight. You know what I'm saying? Freaking, uh... And, dude, a lot of people get in fights, man. There used to be guys that go out and get in a fight every weekend because they get some kind of fucking rise out of it, some kind of narcissistic supply. Freaking, so, look, I mean, this shit is really just egotistical egomaniacs, man, just trying to 
uh, conscript and coerce us into some bullshizzle that we didn't ask for.